So this video is about creating a wall mount with wireless charging for an iPad mini. Um, please bear in mind this was all shot and edited on an iPhone and essentially it is the first post that I've really kind of done, especially with my own voice in it. So um, please appreciate that as you go through it. Thank you very much. So uh, my original intention here was that I had a mini iPad that I wasn't really using and I wanted to do a bit of home automation with it. So I had a Nest uh, thermostat, as you see, a bit like this here on my wall, um, but I also had to incorporate the iPad. So the idea was to use some wood, but I wanted to also charge the iPad, but without actually a cable. So it was gonna be wirelessly charged. So there's a little bit of technicality to it, as well as making it look decent when you finish, so that the, the Nest would be below it and the iPad would be above it. Um, so I enlisted a bit of help from my um, uh, brother, who's a master carpenter. Um, and you wouldn't believe for this small little thing how much work was actually involved in actually getting the right depth and that to put in a wireless pad charger. This is his, uh, his workshop here, which is fantastic, as you can see. So we had to cut out a little dish to actually put the wireless pad in the charger. It had to be just millimeters thick, and the bottom hole there is going to be for the nest. Um, we then dyed this wood, um, and you'd be amazed what the wood came from in the end. Um, and when we dyed the wood, it actually, it looked quite good, but it was matte. So we used very simply beeswax to uh, make it uh, a little bit more, you know, visually nice. And uh, this wood was actually a plank of wood that was actually a shelf. Um, actually came in a pack for a shelf. So I liked the little knots in the bottom of it. So to charge this, we had to get, a, this is a basically a, a, a micro USB wireless receiver. I had to snip it off because I needed that ribbon cable and I couldn't find anywhere anywhere to get it. So I used the second one obviously inside the iPad itself, but I, this was actually a micro USB, not an iPad version. So that's an, uh, sorry, a, 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 a micro USB there being connected to the USB cable that I'm putting in the wall. So the bottom connection there is going to be for the Nest and the top connection up above is going to be for where the wireless charger is. Um, these run down through, the, through the, the, the chasing in the wall there and down towards where there was a socket that I've broken out and put a fuse box and stuff like that and you'll see in a second. So here's this uh, USB hub that I'm using and it's a mains part USB hub um, that I'm using here to, to actually make this work. Okay, and as you can see, there's a fuse that uh, directly for this below it, and also then the socket. So these are double boxes here. Um, so it'll be neatened up later on. This may obviously just a quick plaster job just to, to do it up. And I did a bit of white paint just to stop this afterwards. And um, then there's the double boxes. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll be neatened up later on, and it won't be really that noticeable, okay? Um, and when that's finished, it'll look well, okay? So on the wall itself though, um, this is when you put on the wood, there's the nest plate in and there's the wire for the actual wireless charging pad being there and you can possibly make out the four holes for the screws that are holding that on. This is a bit closer, there's the four holes. They're actually exactly where the magnets need to be as well. So there's the wireless pad now in place. Um, the four holes are, as you can see, they're offset and you'll see that later on why. Um, these are the little magnets that I was using. Small magnets work better because they tend to actually center the actual iPad. Now, these are very strong regardless, even that they're small, but I would advise gluing them. And this is the finished object here with the iPad on top and the nest on the bottom. Um, and when you take it off, um, you're left with, the magnets are offset because the actual wireless receiver that's in the back of the, the iPad um, is actually designed for an iPhone. So it's a little bit in the short side, but look, it's not the end of the world. I'm not upset about it, so I can live with it. And this is the back of this case that I used on the iPad. It's a, it was a cheap case from eBay, but it's rubberized, it's solid. Um, I did mess it up a little bit when I put on the, the, I used the sticky back version of the, the magnets. So I actually need to glue them in the end and I messed it up. But ArtFX paint is great. It gives a rubberized kind of finish and I re-sprayed it with that. It looks brilliant. This is a picture of the wireless receiver that's plugged into the bottom of the iPad itself. So here's a quick video of it just clicking on and off. As you can see, it's, it connects quite solidly. So this is the finished article with the iPad on top and the Nest thermostat at the bottom. The iPad can be taken off and on as you need to use it um, and obviously has internet access. 
Um, I have it set up like a family um, iPad. So the shopping lists and all the um, calendar and that is shared between us all. Um, so we can add from any one device to this. So it can actually be used for, you know, what's necessary, what's used, what shopping is missing and that. Use it for other parts of the automation, which is CCTV, the house alarm can be on it. Um, you obviously have FaceTime and things like that, which is quite handy. It's like the house has its own FaceTime phone as, as such. Um, I've also got Yanami on it, which is a, a, a great app for basically controlling things like Wemo lights and a few bits and pieces like that. Um, and um, I'm very happy with how it's worked out. I also use Spotify on it. It plays music to multiple rooms if you need to, if you've got um, like Bluetooth speakers or you've got AirPlay or something like that. Um, and actually music is quite a lot it's used for, but the iPad itself you see is fully still usable. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. I could have put it in, an, in a frame, like a picture frame and put the wire to it. It would have been a lot easier to do this, but um, then the iPad would be staying on the wall permanently. I wanted to make use of, of the iPad, um, if I had a visitor and like that, they could be handed that iPad. It's it's locked down to certain aspects of it. So that's it. That's my project. Um, if you have any comments or queries or anything like that, um, just leave them in the comments section below. And I'll try to respond. Thank you.